If you ever come to a public toilet to try to fix your hair, this is the kind of mirror you're dealing with. So when I look in the mirror here, I've got the light behind me and up there. That's not how a mirror works, is it? A mirror is designed to reflect light off the subject. And if the subject is not lit, damn, I can see my double chin there. I've got to, walk, I've got to do some more walking today. That's my objective. What I'm saying is most mirrors do not light you properly. From my perspective, looking into this mirror here, all I'm seeing is shadows all over my face. So it's not really giving me a proper perspective on the lighting. It's hard for me to see my hairline and everything else when I'm trying to adjust it in the mirror here, okay? Which I think is fucking stupid, really. If you have a mirror, especially if you have customers using that mirror, put the lights around the outside perimeter of the mirror so they can fucking see their own reflections, otherwise your mirror does not work. Having a light up and behind, shining down at the top of somebody's head, you've set up your mirror incorrectly. I think that's just common sense really, isn't it? And if it's your house, definitely set up your own mirror properly. That means put lights at least above and probably to the sides. If you're going to do a proper installation, yeah. Otherwise people won't be able to see their own fucking reflections. <clears throat> oh, shit. Also, I wanted to tell you, if you carry a backpack around, it's worthwhile carrying some extra glue and shit in there, right? Just so you can do touch-ups wherever you go. But you'll need a proper mirror. Without a mirror, you're fucked. I'm actually thinking about how to get a non-breakable mirror that I could put in my backpack that has LEDs built into it. Finding a mirror that, that actually reflects you properly is one of the main challenges with doing your hair, whether it's natural hair or any other type of hair. So try to make sure your hair's good and it doesn't flop around and make a mess of itself just after you've been for a walk. I don't know how women do it. I think actually women's toilets are all decked out with perfumes and proper mirrors and proper lighting because women are known to be vain. That's why they're better looking than us. So that's why if you can sneak in, go and use the women's room because they got everything. But don't, we get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs>